6YL-165 screw oil press is currently the most advanced oil extraction equipment in material processing with the largest production. It features a simple structure, easy operation, and the capability of extracting more oil and operating continuously and so on. It can extract oil from a variety of plants such as peanut, soybean, ripseed, cotton seed, sesame, olive, sunflower, coconut, cocoa beans, seeds, palm, jatropha seeds, and so on. Please read the instructions carefully before using the equipment. Machine parameters. The overall dimensions of 6YL-165 screw oil press is 2,300 mm in length, 800 mm in width, and 1,650 mm in high. And the single machine weighs about 1,600 kg. It needs to be driven to work by a 22 to 30 kW motor, and the machine works stable with the pressing shaft revolving 28 to 35 times per minute. Subtitle 2 Machines Construction This machine consists of six parts a feeding machine, a gearbox, a bar cage, a worm, a chassis, and a discharge outlet. Installation before use 1. The machine must be installed solidly with anchor bolts on the base and it must be maintained horizontal. 2. It is suggested that the motor is mounted on the same side with the discharge part of the gearbox to facilitate its operation. It is recommended to install the belt pulley protection device for security. Considerations before start. 1. View the gearbox with 8 to 15 kilograms of oil before starting the machine. 2. After the machine is installed, add oil as required. Check all parts of the fasteners to make sure they are tightened and the handle and the flapper are flexible. 3. Move the large pulley to avoid getting stuck or loosening and solve any problems as soon as possible. 4. Adjust the belt, start the motor and check whether the group pulley rotates in the same direction with the marked one. 5. Loosen the locked nut after all the checks. Tighten the worm as much as you can. Then circle back and move forward half a circle to ensure that there is always a gap between the worm and the discharge outlet. Preheating 1. The machine can work well if the barrel stays at a suitable temperature. So try to read the temperature in the barrel before the machine squeezes. 2. Add 6 to 8% water to dry cake. Mix them up and then fit them into the barrel. Then polish the barrel and begin to fit dry cake slowly, not too fast. Then increase proper amount of feed after the discharge becomes normal. 3. Dry cake repeatedly. Grind the machine and make the temperature rise. Stop the machine and clean up cake until the outer surface of the machine become too hot to touch. And then squeeze oil from the normal oil plants. Operating the machine. 1. Feed the same amount of oil plants each time slowly until the press produces in the right way and then pour the entire blank into the hopper. 2. Observe the produce of cake, which is normally 1 to 2 mm thick, tile-like, with a wrinkled and will not cling to the hands. Adjust the thickness of cake, move and adjust the handle on the adjusting knot clockwise and the cake becomes thicker, otherwise it becomes thinner. 3. Always check the produce of oil and residue. When it is normal, most of the discharge flows out from the strip outlets or the pressing rings in the front. The amount of water added to the blank directly affect the yield of oil. So control the amount of water when squeezing oil. 4. Stop the machine. Stop the machine after it finishes squeezing the entire blank. Move the worm back and forth several times. Let the machine squeezes all the feedings 
in the barrel and produces all kicks, and then switch off the machine. Maintenance of the machine: the machine should be regularly maintained, lubricated, and adjusted in order to ensure the machine regular work and extend its endurance. Here are the methods to disassemble the main parts of the machine. Disassembling: one, disassembling the worm. Move the handle immediately after the machine stops and pull the worm out from the barrel. If it is hard to pull it out because of block, lay a piece of plank on the floor and then two people knock the worm a couple of times together to dig it out. Two, disassemble the bar cage. Rotate the worm shaft and pull the worm out from the barrel after the machine stops. Plunge iron bar 24 millimeter in diameter into the hole of the nut on the side of discharge outlet. Loosen nuts by rotating it counterclockwise. Loosen the jaw nuts at both ends of the upper bar cage and remove the bolts connecting the upper and lower bar cages. Then you can remove the upper bar cage. Three. Disassemble the pressing ring and framework ring. Loosen and remove all the pressing ring and framework ring with iron rod after disassemble the upper bar cage. Four. Disassemble the pressing bar. Remove the pressing bar ring. Set the iron bar against the end of one pressing bar from one side while hammering it on the other end until one of the pieces is hammered out and the rest will become loose. Installation, one. Installation of the pressing bar. Clean up the pressing bar. Set it straight up and the oil groove face down. Then put a piece of plank under it and arrange the pressing bar in lines on the inwards of the pressing bar ring and put one end of those with deeper grooves down. Two similar pressing bar deep oil groove surfaces can be put together, and finally set a metal rod against the inner side of the pressing bar plug's pointed end, while hammering on the other end to make the pressing bar close against the inwards until there is no protruding on the walls when you touch them. Two, installation of the pressing ring and the framework ring. Clean up all the pressing rain, and then make the discharge grooves face the chassis. Then put them into the bar cage by the order of pressing rain. Make the oil grooves face the chassis, and use glue nuts to bolt up the pressing rain. Finally, install the bar cage. Three, installation of the bar cage. Clean up the bar cage, set it into its place, and make sure it fits with the lower bar cage. And then use the remote bolts to tighten it one by one. Four, installation of the worm. A machine or more helping hand can be made to press the worm into the bar cage. Move the handle and tighten the nuts, and the worm is quite heavy. Major methods for oil squeezing. One method for squeezing soybean. There are many two methods to squeeze soybeans: hot molding. Or cold molding. First, cold molding process. Screen the soybeans, add a proper amount of water, and squeeze them. Second, hot molding process. First, screen the soybeans, crush them, and add seven to eight percent of water to soften them, and then steam them until the temperature rises to about one hundred fifteen degree, and finally squeeze them. Two, method for squeezing ripseeds. There are two ways to squeeze the ripseeds: cold molding or hot molding. The latter method is most often used to increase a quantity and a quality of oil yield. Screen the ripseeds and remove the residue, and then flick them in the flacket. After that, steam and fry them in the steaming work. Add two to three percent of water, and fry the seeds to brown until the temperature becomes 110 to 120 degree. Finally, squeeze them. Three, method for squeezing peanuts. You can use either hot molding or cold molding to squeeze peanuts, but the former method is most often used. In hot molding, first crush or flake the peanuts, steam them for 1.5 to 2 hours until the temperature reaches 120 degrees and they contain only 3% of water. Then squeeze them 
until the machine's temperature reaches 85 degrees. If there is no steamer, you can also fry the peanuts in a wok. First, crush the peanuts. Gradually add 7 to 80 percent of water. Fry them until they become brown, and then squeeze them. 4. Method for squeezing husky peanuts. The husky peanuts must contain proper moisture. First, shell the peanuts, rub off the red hull with hands, and squeeze them twice. If they are too wet and the machine makes a loud noise when squeezing them, you should dry up the peanuts. If the discharge of cake is not smooth, add 20% of cake and mix them up, then squeeze them. Rules of safe operation. Please note carefully the following rules in order to ensure the normal operation of the machine and avoid accidents on people or the machine. 1. It is prohibited to put a hen or metal rod into the harbor or poke the cake at discharge outlet when the machine is in operation. 2. It is strictly prohibited to tighten the worm before or when the machine operates because it will lead to the contact between the cake guy ring and the discharge ring, which then results in friction and even accidents. 3. Remove the grease on the surface if the machine is no use for a long time. Clean up all the parts and coat them with anti-rust oil and put them in dry places and cover the bar cage with oil cloth in order to avoid accumulation of dust and debris in the gap of pressing bar, pressing ring, affecting its future use.